Alright guys, cut to the BS, let's get straight into this video. White man goes around asking people if they believe in white privilege or if white privilege is real. Basically the same question, let's get into this. This is Will with PragerU and welcome to beautiful Florida. Today we're talking to people about white privilege and whether or not they think it's real. Let's do it. And guys, before we get started, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so that you never miss a new video here on YouTube. So you heard of white privilege before? Yes, I have. Yeah, you think white privilege is a pretty real, significant thing? Yeah, I think it's definitely real. Uh, yes, I definitely think there is discrimination in society now. I mean, like some there's like some stuff that I look at and it makes it seem like it's legit. I don't know though. When you just think about everything as a whole and then society and just different ways, different situations play out for different people, compare the two situations, it's it's pretty obvious. There's no denying it. Yeah, why well, is the notion that um, the disparity between the races is racism, right? Oh, it's caused by racism. That's my understanding of white privilege. Uh, the, the whole reason why this person has more money than you and and just happens to be the different race is because of racism. That's basically what white privilege is to me, what the, my understanding of it. Just throughout, like, uh, even housing, education, um, it's everywhere. I mean, I think there are some things that some minorities may not have, like certain resources they will not always have access to. What about white people that don't have those resources too? Ooh, that's a thing. White privilege doesn't apply to all white people because, hey, there'd be some poor white people out in the world, bro. You know what I mean? White people who are poor on the streets, things like that. So where is that person's white privilege? That would be a good question. Show this person a poor person in the street who has absolutely nothing and ask this person, where is white privilege for this person? Did it, did it not arrive? Is it still in the mail? That also happens, but minorities, it probably might be more common. Yeah, but specifically to the individual who is poor, that also happens to be white. How do you explain that situation? Did the white privilege not really come in time? What happened? Did, it, did she lose? Uh, membership to white people. I don't know. Why is she poor? That's the why is she poor? And why is she white? Then white people. Why would you say that? Different statistics that I've looked at. That you can't really pull out. And sources. Cool. I mean, there's absolutely things that like you get advantages with if you're white, but like as far as affirmative action and like institutional, there's such massive advantages you get when it comes to non-white privilege. Boom, right, affirmative action, all these acts, all these uh, programs being put down that uh, only really benefit and disadvantage white people and only benefit people of color, right? Uh, here where I live, we have the B, B, E, E, or B, E, E, B, G, B, E laws. Basically, um, you need to have a certain number of black people and you need to have all these people in your, in your, in your business. It needs to be diverse, all that stuff. That doesn't really affect um, I mean, that doesn't really benefit white people. Actually, it disadvantages white people and benefits black people. So in that sense, could we call this black privilege? Could we call it black? I mean, there's literally an act, an act that says, yo, bro, if you're this color, you get picked over that. That's an advantage, okay? Um, if white privilege is real, an act like that would have to exist to white people. I mean, but uh, I don't even know if that exists. I think there are certain instances of like black privilege as well. And to an extent, yeah. Cer certain situations, yeah, I agree. I got a 33 on my ACT. If I went to, you know, Stanford with that and I was a Native American, I would be getting a full ride scholarship right now. But, you know. Yeah, they don't have like the straight white male scholarships that you have for I'm all the other to minority tell you. reasons. Tell you. Mark Cuban tried to come up with one of those and people called him racist for that. Do you think that, like me as a white guy, I have more privileges than you as a Latina? Mm. I've never experienced any like disadvantages really personally so that's a good thing it's like a lot of people will talk about white privilege as if it's like a really big deal but yeah a lot of people we talk about these things as if it affects them in their daily lives like day to day I mean yeah probably some people have negative experiences with racism but I don't really have any of those let me really talk about white privilege and all these stuff like it affects them every single day like they can't go through there without being a victim of white privilege in reality, these guys be living in, you know, good looking houses. Like a lot of the BLM um, leaders. Yeah, have you seen the houses they live in? Okay, where does that money come from? I don't know. Probably comes from donations, but who knows? Then haven't actually experienced any instances of it. Yeah. What resources do you think minorities don't have that white people have? Like certain access to stuff like... Minorities do not have cars, right? There's not one minority with a car. And, and that's a problem. There's no black person with a car. And... 
and that is just a i'm being sarcastic guys like laptops and school and stuff alex you're mexican you have a laptop i do <laughs> your family have a laptop they do what do you think about the concept of white privilege I think it's kind of ridiculous, to be, to be completely honest with you. I, I don't think it, it makes any sense. We're all aware that like, there's absolutely been oppression in like, the last 50 years, and there's still oppression today. Like, there's no doubt that there's still oppression today. But the term white privilege is used broadly for ex like, an incredible amount of things that don't necessarily apply. There's a million different things between the average white person and the average black, or Latino, Hispanic, whatever, insert race here, here person other than the, the color of, uh, of their skin. So you have to take those factors um, into account as well. Depends on the- Exactly, bro. Like, there's so many things that come into equation. Like, you grow up in a single, in a single parent household. Do you, is your father present? Do your mom and dad have decent jobs? Do you go to a decent school? Do you live in a decent area? There's so many factors that like come into this. Just, you know, you're walking through life, different people you meet, different opportunities you have that I may not have, different opportunities I may not have that you, I may have that you may not, you know? It's just blatantly racist if, if, if you ask me to look at a person and say the only reason where you got where you at is because you were born a certain way. It's more about what you can do and less about what your predisposition should allow you to do. And that's, I think, the most important thing for people to recognize is, um, yeah, there are white privileges, but there's also Asian American privileges, there's also black privileges, but more importantly, it's socioeconomic privileges. Exactly, it's economic privilege. It's economic privileges, and people masquerade you as some racial privilege. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please will like and subscribe. Um, check out my other stuff, and I'll be a good day. Peace out. Yeah.